There's the cat. <laughs> Regular viewers have probably seen this cat a lot. This is Maude, she's 18, and she's always trying to steal the show. But I've got about three different projects in the works. I got at least four different videos that aren't finished. So I don't have anything new for you today on any of the current projects. But if you're a regular viewer of this channel, then I thought you might enjoy the type of things I do. So let's go back about three weeks where I took the family and the in-laws to a local tractor show. And it was a good time. So hopefully you'll enjoy it too. Meanwhile, I've got to get back to work and hopefully we'll have more on the current projects for you next week. So we're here at the Maumee Valley Gas and Steam Engine Show. This year they're featuring International Harvester. They got a lot of like international scouts and international pickup trucks, which are near and dear to my heart. So I drug the girls along and we're gonna go check it out. They love looking at tractors and stuff. But I thought you might like it, at least. Non-featured tractors over here. Fords, Olivers, a bunch of John Deere's. Look at this, 4786. That thing is so cool. I love those four-wheel drive articulated harvesters. The 1586 and a 1466. Oh yeah. Yeah, this would be the place to sell your tractor. A backloader, that's an odd unit right there on a Ford. Yeah, I've never seen something like that. Check this out. So they're pulling double tractors at once. I've never seen them do that before. We're going to hook that Alice Chalmers and that Oliver to a tandem yoke to pull that thing. Huh. Jeez. <laughs> Pretty wild. That's a different kind of game there. I haven't seen that. It's wild. This thing's rigged up to do some work, by golly. It's got some forks on the front. And look at this, this is one of those, uh, oh, what are they called? It's a Gannon like earth cavator, I think. It pivots here on this, and this is a re release mechanism. So you could pull dirt, lift up, and dump it. And then I think you could flip it around. See how the scare fires are on the bottom? Yeah. So you could stand it up on end and rip, and then you can grade. Pretty neat. Nice little Cushman. Yeah. Your dad would like that. Dad loves Cushmans. My dad has a little Cushman. Not quite like that. I think dad's is a 53. Oh, that's got a Harbor Freight Predator engine in it. <laughs> a little different. Some hit and miss engines. Oh, a little hit and miss garden tractor. I'm glad there's people still willing to keep this stuff running. Yep. I'll have to get my little hit and miss running. I think that one's a little bit smaller than mine. I've got my grandpa's hit and miss up in the up in the barn and I've never had it running since I since I acquired it. There's an airplane engine over there. I bet that trailer really moves. You get that fired up. That's weird. Maybe they use the trailer to pull the truck. Or push the truck. Yeah. Here's a nice Alice Chalmers D17. Running a little buzz saw over there. So they got an old style sawmill here. This is a new building. This all used to be out in the open, but they are sawing logs in here. This buzz saw right here, they're running with that farm all down there. This is cool. Wait till you see the engine that's on the other side of this wall. It's 
incredible all the stuff they got in here. 100 horsepower. 10 horsepower. 50 horsepower. You gotta check out this Buckeye down here. They have like a schedule where they run this one. So this Buckeye engine was in the basement of a local feed mill. This is the one that was over at Graybill. And they had to cut a hole in the side of the building, inside the basement, and dig a ramp get to get it out of there. And they brought it over here and they started every couple hours and make her run. So this is a pretty interesting piece of history from right here local. This is, it came out of the Graymon elevator in Graybill, which is about 15 miles from here. And I, it's been here for as long as I can remember. I've seen it run quite a few times, but it's always awesome to see every time you see it run. Pretty neat to see. It seems like I've seen that before. I've seen them cut and use that sawmill before, but every time I watch, it's like I, I notice something new or different. Here are the feature tractors, the internationals. These things are so cool. A 1980. Those stacks on that thing. 1568. That's cool. We had a 1468. Okay, this is a V8. <laughs> a couple international trucks up here. I thought there would maybe be more scouts. A lot of these, they get painted now way better than what they were. Yeah. And it's nice now that at least a lot of guys are restoring them and leaving them in their original patina and yeah. not fixing every one want, of them. You want some of them still around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was always going to restore Grandpa's WD, and I've decided I'd rather just see it the way it is, yep. I guess. Yep. I would agree. 600 diesel. Well, you can just tell it's like oily. <laughs> it's got almost a different red to it. And this must be a, well, it's got a distributor, so that's, see, it's got like a float bowl, like, or like a, okay, somebody's gonna have to explain this to me. I don't know enough about it. Oh, look at this. It says diesel. It says gasoline. It does both? I bet it does. I don't know enough about internationals. Look, it's got a little John Deere in there. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> she runs on John Deere tears. Yeah, here's an injection pump and it's got a distributor. So I'm that's why I was confused. I always like the looks of these 66 series tractors. Those look tough. Well, I'm obviously a John Deere guy, but I can really appreciate international tractor. I appreciate all tractors. They're all cool. 53. This little guy, same age. Tractors have come a long way in a lifetime, haven't they? Jeez. A little one-armed bandit right here. 
Seems like you'd twist that up in a hurry. I can't imagine working with a bucket that's not as wide as the tractor, right. but I don't know. I guess it was a lot better than lifting stuff by hand. This thing looks tough. Yeah. Got dual wheels on this guy. Big rig. Here they are. This is what I wanted to see, some scouts. I like the stripe on this one. So my family had a bunch of scouts growing up. Matter of fact, the story is that I was brought home from the hospital in an international scout. And then I've had two or three of them. These are sharp. This one's got a uh, flag mount on it, like for the sand dunes. Yeah, that's cool too. These must be owned by the same person because they got the same scout and license plate. But that is sharp. I would, I'd love to have one of those again. Now we could get rid of the Jeep, Kara. Would you be up for getting rid of the Jeep and get one of these? Maybe. Drive it to Colorado? Yeah, Yeah. Let's do it. That probably worked out well, huh? That is so cool looking. I love Scouts. This one with the camper on it, that's a Scout Terra. They had like a little pickup truck. That's what we could have taken to Colorado, right there. Yeah. We'll sell the motor home and get us a little truck camper. The Scout Terra was like a 114 inch wheelbase. So it had a little bit more space between the wheel and the door. And then you could take the little pickup cap off of it. And the Scout 2 is a 100 inch wheelbase and it's got less space between there. It's pretty cool. I like it. You like it? You stay in there, do you? Oh, I have when I'm hunting and stuff. Right? It pops up about two foot. Oh, it does? Yeah, and there's a furnace and a two, two burner stove and a sink and Really? Most of my stuff's in Colorado. I've been there for oh, the really? years. Coon rods? Yeah. Well, I've heard of you. <laughs> You're not driving this to Colorado, are you? Uh, I've made probably 30 or 40 trips with it back and forth. Oh, you have? Goodness. You drive this back and forth? Well, usually pull the trailer, sometimes <laughs> with the vehicle on back. Really? Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you. So we just got done eating some fair food. Now I'm going to talk Carrie into going to swing, uh, square dance. You want to go square dance? You ready? Yeah. Those are all like teenagers and 20 somethings. Maybe that's making a comeback and I didn't know it. I think we're past it though. How was the ride? It was good. It was long. It was very long. long. But I like the What do you think of the ride? You gonna ride in this little car next? What? Look at that little guy. <laughs> oh, that's good. Look at this thing. That is fantastic. I got John Deere tractors, but I really like these too. This is a John Deere rear end. Is it? Yeah. Corey Jenkins. Corey? Troy. Troy Jenkins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got the little four-wheel drive and a little turbo diesel 1772 and a 1282 these are just, awesome just a few of them i got nine total but nine total i don't, don't have that big a trailer so. <laughs> yeah. that's a fun hobby though it is and i, I got guys that i know that's got three four hundred of them today so. oh my goodness yeah pole barns shelves shelves full of them yeah forklifts that lift them up and down yeah fun hobby see the fellow garden tractor enthusiasts it doesn't matter if they're jd or IH, everybody everybody that loves it, loves it, and we can all get along. The, that was cool that that one tractor had a John Deere rear end in it, uh -huh. though. All right, I think this engine right here has the most important job of this whole steam show. Making ice cream. This is going to be our last stop of the show, the old-fashioned ice cream booth. There we go. One of those mine? Thank you. Man, I want to scout again. That one is sweet looking. They're both cool. Well, that was a quick little tour around our local steam and gas engine show. It's a neat little show to go to every year. And I don't know if I was in more into square dance, and I think we could have stayed a while longer, but it's time to head home. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for clicking. Uh, for Lucky, we'll see you in the next one. So I don't have anything finished to share with you. Cat just puked. I don't know if you can see that. Is that in frame?